Hello Nanaimo. As some of you may know, we have just finished the UBCM, which is the Union of BC Municipalities Annual General Meeting. Uh, the first of its kind in the sense that it was uh, to deal with the COVID issue and how you handle a large gathering of municipal politicians. Uh, so it was a virtual convention. Uh, obviously very different from what we've experienced in the past. I'm pleased to share with you that the City Council of Nanaimo and myself were privileged to have meetings with three important ministers. Minister Selena Robinson, the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Uh, Minister Mike Farnworth, the Solicitor General, in other words, the top province's top cop. Uh, and Judy Darcy, the Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, to talk about the obvious issue that confronts Nanaimo that so many of you write to me about that concerns so many of you. And that is the mental health and addictions crisis that confronts us every day in our streets along with the significant homelessness issue uh, that is evident everywhere in our community. Uh, with each minister, we stress the need for more housing, obviously, but for more facilities and more help and supports uh, with that particular group in our community, particularly those, as I say, who are suffering from mental health and addictions issues. In addition, we met with the Chair of Island Health and their Chief Executive Officer and others uh, to again emphasize how important it is for us. And obviously mentioned the need for a tertiary hospital here in Nanaimo, which would be important for all of us. I'm pleased to advise that two resolutions put forward from the city uh, were referred to the UBCM executive. One was the local government price index, which was referred, as I say, and basically that's calling on uh, UBCM to get the government to uh, have a price index, not the CPI that governs what most of us think of as our expenses, but those things that municipal governments buy. We don't buy a lot of groceries here at the city of Nanaimo, but we buy a lot of pipe. Uh, the second was around whistleblower legislation, again referred to the UBCM executive. And as you know, many provinces have whistleblower legislation that protects public servants who raise concerns about actions being taken by city staff or other members or politicians. And we're asking that an independent third party uh, be created to handle those kinds of complaints. The next step for all of us, of course, as city council will be to carry on addressing all the issues that confront us, but also to potentially work with uh, whatever provincial government uh, is elected uh, on October 24th. And in that regard, I ask all of you to vote, to pay attention to the issues, and tell the politicians during the campaign, what are the issues that concern you? Thank you very much.